and this NFL football player comes up to me. He goes, Goggins, can I ask you a question? How do you keep that dog mentality? I said, let me ask you a question. When you were younger, what did you want to be? He said, an NFL football player. But once I got there, I lost that dog mentality. He had a finish line in his brain. Guess what? A true dog mentality? I have a dog at home. He never gets full. It's not enough you made to the NFL. It's not enough you ran a 5K, win a 10K. It's not enough you became a doctor. Be a better doctor. It's not enough you lost 50 pounds. Go out there and do something with it. Guess what? It's 109 out here, but guess what? It's not enough. Stay hard. Today I was running, and this guy passes me in the car. It's about 100 degrees out here, 70% humidity. And the guy comes back around and looks at me. He pulls his car by me and says, why are you out here? I said, because you're not. Sometimes your motivation needs to be because no one else wants to do it. We need doctors, we need dentists, we need teachers. We also need savages. This message I do is not for everybody. Someone say that soft bullshit about me. Do you have sunscreen on? This message is dangerous. It's too hot. I'm not asking you to be like me. Do you. Stay hard. Your mind's getting softer. We do that shit with everything in life. A lot of you are trying to find inspiration and motivation with a depressed mindset. You don't find inspiration by not living in the grip of life. You need to live in the grip of life to find inspiration. Put challenges in front of yourself. When you put a challenge in front of yourself and you attack it, that's when you find inspiration. Repetition every day. Stay hard. So the other day I got an email from this lady. She said she truly enjoyed my book. But as she read it, she thought I was just crazy. So after she read it, she put the book down and started living her normal life. Just going back paying bills, going back to work, complaining about shit. A few days later, she had time to think about the book and it scared her. She thought, well, maybe this guy isn't crazy. And that's what scared her the most. Maybe he's here trying to show us human potential, what we're all capable of doing. A lot of people like to put titles on other people who are doing extraordinary things. It makes them feel better about themselves. Gives them a get out of jail free card. I'm not crazy, I'm just not like you. In sports, there's a thing out there called load management. A lot of us like to load manage our lives. When you do that, you can find yourself right at normal. Get off that, stay hard. With success in life comes more haters. Don't make them hurt your feelings. Use them for fuel, use them for energy. In times of need, put them on mental Rolodex in your mind. And when you don't want to do shit, roll through your brain. Pull up that person who said you couldn't do something. Weren't fast enough, good enough, smart enough. Use it for energy. Instead of killing them with kindness, torture them with success. In life, we have to continue pushing past the odds. Use everything this world has to give you for fuel. Stay hard. And anybody, not just Navy SEALs, but anybody that can accomplish anything that is hard. The only separator is, is that they really want to be there. There's some people that get inspired mm -hmm. and that inspiration moves them to try to do something. But the inspiration is very high right now in this nice environment. We're in a nice environment. I watch a movie about some badasses, you're inspired. But the second you're not in this environment and you're actually doing what inspired you, that suck factor is now real. You're now there. And only those people who have been there a million times in their minds and have lived in that water and have suffered a million times and realized my legs may break, my knee may break, my bones will hurt. I will be the coldest I've been in my life. I will be miserable and accept that. When you get in a horrible situation in life, 
your mind immediately says, get everybody's dust, even if you want to be there. But it starts to have all these different questions in your mind in that one second. And it says, okay, why are you here? Why are you doing this? Why this? Why that? And then you start to say to yourself, if you don't want to be there that bad, I have a beautiful life. I'm not going to break my body up to do this. Your mind starts to say, yeah, this is stupid. But if you have, if you are already knowing that this is going to happen to you, you have all the answers to these questions that your mind starts to give you when you're in suffer mode. Try to be 10% better than you were last week. So if you're running 30 miles a week, run 33. If you're swimming 500 meters, swim 550. The more you walk away from accountability, the weaker you become. Find yourself in the grip of life. You can't find yourself by doing nothing. So there's a lot of pockets of weakness nowadays. And we try to fill those pockets with lies. I did it for many years. So, I'm out here in Colorado for a conference. I go to the gym and this trainer calls me over to talk to this group of people he's training. He says, hey man, what are you doing out here? So I tell him, he says, what kind of workout are you doing? I said, well, one workout I'm doing, I'm climbing this mountain, 3,000 feet, three miles. But I do that every day. So the next day, I'm out looking for him. Didn't see him. A couple days later, looking for him. Didn't see him. So here I am on the mountain again, climbing it. And there's a gondola that takes you up, takes you down. I'm going up it. I see a gondola from about five minutes to the top. I look up at the gondola. I see him, face pressed up against the, the window, looking at me, our eyes meet. Don't talk about it. Be about it. Practice what you preach. Stay hard. I like suffering in the way that is competitive, yep. that brings out the absolute best in me and in everybody else. I want to see what you're made of. Mm. I want to see like almost like the Colosseum mm -hmm. in Rome. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. can't do it by writing a paper. And what I found out, and the only message I want to get across to people is once you change one thing, your mindset, you can attack everything. Hmm. People know how do you keep grinding every day? You have to make those insecurities, those fears. Like when I was 300 pounds, I didn't have any drive. I was an insecure, lying kid, afraid. I had to look in my insecurities and in my fear and find drive in that. We're all looking for passion. Passion's all around you. All the energy and fuel you need is right in yourself. It's all there. You got a lot of stuff to do to overcome. And you know, that's where I found it. I found it right there in my own insecurities. I found drive in my own insecurities. And that's, that's the most powerful thing in the world. When you can find drive in your own doubt, fear, insecurities, you become very unstoppable. I'm in search for a feeling. I'm not in search for a trophy. I'm not in search for love. I'm not in search for more followers on Instagram or social media. When I started this journey years ago and I realized that I'm going to be somebody and I'm searching for a feeling, a feeling of true victory for myself and only myself. The second I shut out the whole world and realized that one thing, that I am in this world alone. I'm fighting this race by my weakest person on the planet Earth. My goal in life was to, in my mind, believe I'm the hardest man alive. And that's why the whole thing is, can't hurt me. That's what it's about. It's about whatever you think you are, you have to make that dream a reality. But that's where the hard part is. There's a lot of successful people in this world who still feel empty inside. And they wonder why they still feel empty. So they try to make another million, two million, Three million, let's buy a new car, a new house, a new boat. Let's buy more of everything. At the end of the day, it still feels real empty inside. For me, I wasn't even successful, I just felt empty. 
So I was trying to hide my insecurities. You have to be there over, but not there at the graduation. Okay. You got to be there in the worst in the parts suffering. that you know over and over again. You got to live that in your mind. Dressing it up. Same thing with life. If you don't get inside your soul, inside your heart, and fix it, be willing to go to war with yourself. Stay hard.